Good morning. We celebrate this morning a special mass for peace and healing throughout our world. We also remember as our special intention, George Floyd and all who have died by violence or injustice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers, as we gather this day to give thanks and praise to Almighty God, let us once again open our minds and hearts to his ongoing call to mercy, healing, and compassion. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who have revealed that peacemakers are to be called your children, grant that we may with work without ceasing to establish that justice which alone ensures true and lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, he who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In those days, the spirit from on high will be poured out on us. Then will the desert become an orchard and the orchard be regarded as a forest. Right will dwell in the desert and justice abide in the orchard. Justice will bring about peace. Right will produce calm and security. My people will live in peaceful country, in secure dwellings and quiet resting places. The word of the Lord. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. The mountains shall yield peace for the people and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. All kings shall pay him homage, and na all nations shall serve him. For he shall rescue the poor one when he cries out, and the, aff and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. From fraud and violence he shall redeem them. And precious shall their blood be in his sight. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. A reading from the letter of St. James, beloved, who among you is wise and understanding? Let him show his works by a good life and the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. Wisdom of this kind does not come down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, demonic. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder in every foul practice. But the wisdom from above is first of all, pure, then peace, peaceable, gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good fruits, without inconstancy or in insincerity, and the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. My sisters and brothers, let us spend some time in silent prayer and reflection, asking the Holy Spirit to bring peace and healing to all parts of our world.
we offer our prayers of hope and petition to the Lord who truly hears and answers. That the church, its leaders and people, may be filled with a genuine reverence for all life, working each day to respect, protect, and to heal. We pray to the Lord. That the leaders of nations may be inspired by the grace of the Holy Spirit, so that their leadership may bring about unity, justice, and peace. We pray to the Lord. For George Floyd, and for all who have died by violence, anger, or indifference, that they may forever enjoy the light and peace of God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. For the grace of courage and the strength of faith, that all people might be free from fear, anxiety, or self-centeredness, we pray to the Lord. In a spirit of hope, as we pray for the days ahead, that they may hold the promise of unity, peace, and healing. We pray to the Lord. And for those prayers, hopes, and petitions we hold this day in the silence of our hearts. Merciful God, in your kindness, hear the prayers we offer in faith this day. Lead us by the grace of the Holy Spirit as we strive to walk in the footsteps of Christ. We make our prayer this day and always, through Christ our Lord. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this, our sacrifice, and the sacrifices of our own lives, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, may the saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, offered under sacramental signs that signify peace and unity, renew and strengthen and bring a lasting peace among all of your children, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image, setting us over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name and by your example over all you have made, and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are indeed holy, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly ask. By that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look upon the offering of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit, in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Paul the Apostle, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. Lord, may the sacrifice of our reconciliation advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity, your pilgrim church on earth, your servant, Pope Francis, Gerald and Alberto, the bishops of this diocese, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. 
Listen graciously to the prayer of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, grant kind admittance into your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow upon the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. United this day in voice and heart, and joining Christians throughout the world with faith, hope, and confidence, let us once again echo the prayer of the Savior. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church gathered here this day, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. My sisters and brothers, for our world, and for those around us, let us offer a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My sisters and brothers, at this time I invite you to pray the prayer for a spiritual communion. Let us pray. O Lord, renewed in hope this day, 
and with confidence in the true bread of life. May we continue to work for peace and justice so as to overcome any anger, hatred, or violence that may afflict our world. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the grace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you, remaining with you now and forever. Our celebration is ended. Let us go forth to love and serve the Lord and all those that we meet on a daily basis.